The First Battle of Sirte was fought between the British Royal Navy and the Regia Marina during the Mediterranean Campaign of the Second World War. The engagement took place on 17 December 1941, southeast of Malta, in the Gulf of Sirte. It was tactically inconclusive as both forces were limited by the strategic goal of protecting a convoy of their own and as such, neither were looking to force a full-scale engagement. In the following days, two Royal Navy forces based at Malta ran into an Italian minefield off Tripoli and two British battleships were disabled by Italian manned torpedoes at Alexandria. By the end of December, the balance of naval power in the Mediterranean had shifted in favour of the Italian fleet. Chapter 1 – Background the British Eighth Army and the Axis armies in North Africa were engaged in battles resulting from Operation Crusader, which had been fought between 18 November and 4 December. Its aim was to defeat the Africa Corps and relieve the siege of Tobruk. This had been achieved and Axis forces were conducting a fighting retreat, by 13 December, they were holding a defensive line at Ghazala, east of Benghazi. The Axis were desperate to supply their forces, intending to transport stores to Tripoli, their main port in Libya and Benghazi, the port closest to the front line. The island garrison of Malta was under siege and the British wanted to supply their forces on the island. Chapter 2 – Prelude Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Axis Convoys M41 and M42 The Italians were preparing to send M41, a convoy of eight ships, to Africa on 13 December 1941. That morning, their previous supply attempt, two fast cruisers carrying fuel to Tripoli, had failed when both ships were sunk at the Battle of Cape Bon by a force of destroyers en route to Alexandria. Convoy M41 consisted of eight merchant ships in three groups, with a close escort of five destroyers and a distant cover force of the battleships Litterio and Vittorio Veneto four destroyers and two torpedo boats dot soon after sailing on 13 December. A group of M41 was attacked by the British submarine HMS Upright and two ships were sunk, later that day two ships collided and had to return to base, while the distant cover force was sighted by the submarine HMS Urge and Vittorio Veneto, was torpedoed and forced to return to port. Supermarina the Italian Navy High Command, rattled by these losses and a report that a British force of two battleships was at sea, ordered the ships to return to await reinforcement, but the force of two battleships was a decoy operation by the Minilea HMS Abdiel. On 16 December, the four-ship Italian convoy, renamed M42, left Taranto, picking up escorts along the way. The close escort was provided by seven destroyers and a torpedo boat, by the time they reached Sicily they were also accompanied by a close cover force, comprising the battleship Duilio, three light cruisers and three destroyers. The distant covering force consisted of the battleships Litterio, Andrea Doria, and Giulio Cesare, two cruisers and ten destroyers. Chapter 2 Section 2 – Allied Convoy The British planned to run supplies to Malta using the fast merchant ship Breconshire, covered by a force of cruisers and destroyers, while the destroyers from the Cape on engagement, would proceed to Alexandria from Malta covered by Force K and Force B from Malta on 15 December. The British force was depleted when the light cruiser HMS Galatea was torpedoed and sunk by U-557, just before midnight on 14 December. U-557 was accidentally sunk less than 48 hours later, by the Italian torpedo boat Orione. On 15 December, Breconshire sailed from Alexandria escorted by three cruisers and eight destroyers under Rear Admiral Philip Vion in HMS Nyad. On 16 December, the four destroyers of 4th Flotilla left Malta, covered by Force K, two cruisers and two destroyers. Thirty Italian warships were escorting four cargo ships. The two British groups were also at sea and steaming toward each other, the opposing forces were likely to cross each other's tracks east of Malta on the 18th of December. Chapter 3 – Rattle On the 17th of December, an Italian reconnaissance aircraft spotted the British westbound formation near Sidi Barani, apparently proceeding from Alexandria to intercept the Italian convoy. 
The British convoy was shadowed by Axis aeroplanes and attacked during the afternoon but no hits were scored and Agnew and Stokes met the westbound convoy. By late afternoon the Italian fleet was close by and spotter planes from the battleships had made contact with the British convoy, but the planes misidentified Breckenshire as a battleship. At 1742, the fleets sighted each other, Admiral Angelo Iacchino, commander of the Italian forces, moved to intercept to defend his convoy. Vion also wished to avoid combat, so with the British giving ground and the Italians pursuing with caution, the British were easily able to avoid an engagement. Just after sunset, an air attack on the British ships caused them to return fire with their anti-aircraft guns, allowing the Italian naval force to spot them. Iashino took in the distant covering force and opened fire at about 32,000 meters, well out of range of the British guns. Vion immediately laid smoke and moved to the attack while Breckenshire moved away, escorted by the destroyers HMS Decoy and HMS Havoc. Lacking radar and mindful of their defeat in the night action at the Battle of Cape Matapan, the Italians wished to avoid night combat. The Italians fired for only 15 minutes before disengaging and returning westward to cover convoy M42. HMS Kipling suffered the loss of one midshipman and some damage due to a near miss either from an 18 shell, possibly fired by the Italian cruiser Gorizia or, as stated by British official reports, by 13 in shell splinters fired by Andrea Doria and Giulio Cesare, that knocked down wireless aerials and hold the hull, superstructure, and ship's boats. According to Italian sources, the Royal Australian Navy destroyer HMAS Nizam was also damaged by near misses from the Italian destroyer Maestral. British reports tell of other warships punctured by splinters. Chapter 4 Aftermath Chapter 4 Section 1 Minefield off Tripoli After dark, Vion to return with Stokes to Alexandria, leaving Agnew to bring Breckenshire to Malta, joined by Force B, one cruiser and two destroyers. Breckenshire and her escorts arrived in Malta at 1500 hours on 18 December. At midday, the Italian force also split up and three ships headed for Tripoli, accompanied by the close cover force, while the German supply ship Ankara, headed for Benghazi. The distant cover force remained on station in the Gulf of Sidra until evening, before heading back to base. The British had now realized, that the Italians had a convoy in the area, Vion searched for it without success as he returned to Alexandria. In the afternoon, the position of the Tripoli group was established, a cruiser and two destroyers of Force B and two cruisers and two destroyers of Force K sorted at 1800 hours to intercept. The force ran into a minefield 20 miles off Tripoli, in the early hours of the 19th of December. The minefield took the British by surprise as the water depth was 600 feet, which they had thought was too deep for mines. Neptune struck four mines and sank, the destroyer HMS Kandahar struck a mine and was scuttled the following day. The cruisers Aurora and Penelope were badly damaged but were able to return to Malta. About 830 Allied seamen, many of them New Zealanders from Neptune, lost their lives in the disaster. The Malta Strike Force, which had been such an active threat to Axis shipping to Libya during most of 1941, was much reduced in its effectiveness and was later forced to withdraw to Gibraltar. Chapter 4 Section 2 Attack on Alexandria While steaming back to Alexandria along with Vian's force, destroyer HMS Jervis reported an apparently successful depth charge attack on an unidentified submarine. The only Axis submarine off Alexandria, was the Italian Sire, which was carrying a group of six Italian frogman commandos, including Luigi Durand de la Penne, equipped with manned torpedoes. Shortly after Vian's force arrived in Alexandria, on the night of 18 December, the Italians penetrated the harbour and attacked the fleet. Jervis was damaged, a large Norwegian tanker disabled, and the battleships HMS Valiant and Queen Elizabeth, were severely damaged. This was a strategic change of fortune against the Allies whose effects were felt in the Mediterranean for several months. Chapter 5 – Results Both sides achieved their strategic objectives, 
the British got supplies through to Malta, and the Axis got their ships through to Tripoli and Benghazi, although Benghazi fell to the 8th Army five days later, on the 24th of December. Chapter 6, Order of Battle Forces present the 17th of December 1941. Chapter 6, Section 1, Italy Admiral Angelo Iashino Close covering force, Vice Admiral Raffaele de Curtin. One battleship, Duilio. Three light cruisers, Emanuele Filiberto Duca d'Austa, Muzio Attendolo, Rimando Monticuccoli. Three destroyers, Ascari, Aviere, and Camicia Nera. Distant covering force, Vice Admiral Angelo Perona. Three battleships, Andrea Doria, Giulio Cesare, and Litterio. Two heavy cruisers, Gorizia, and Trento. Ten destroyers, Vincenzo Gioberti, Alfredo Oriani, Maestral. Carabinier, Carazia. Alpino, Bersigalia, Fusilier, Grenachia. Antoniotto U. Sodimer. Close escort. Six destroyers, Setta, Antonio Donoli, Ugolino Vivaldi. Lanzarotto Malocello, Niccolo Zeno. Emanuele Pesigno, one torpedo boat, Pegasso. M42 convoy. Three motor ships, Monginevro, Napoli, Veta Pisani. One freighter, Ankara. Chapter 6, Section 2, Allies. Convoy Escort, Rear Admiral Philip Vion. Three light cruisers, HMS Nyad, Urialis, Carlisle. Eight destroyers, HMS Jervis, Kimberley, Kingston, Kipling, HMAS Nizam, HMS Havoc, Hasty and Decoy. Convoy. One fast merchantman, Breckenshire. Force K. Two light cruisers, HMS Aurora, Penelope. Two destroyers HMS Lance, Lively. Force B. One cruiser, HMS Neptune. Two destroyers, HMS Jaguar, Kandahar. Fourth destroyer Flotilla. Four destroyers, HMS Sikh, Maori, Legion, HNLMS Isaac Swears.